what do you want it to do <laughs> why are you employing the inquiry first thing why um to sort of get through the blockade <laughs> to go through the blockade yes okay and the blockade is comprised of what um i think my mind my ego yes first thing is all of this is so incredibly simple we learned that whatever happens in our mind that some is blocks you from going somewhere i'm saying that awareness the goal of all inquiry cannot be on the other side of working through any process because awareness is that within which even the attempt to work through to get to something arises and is perceived mm-hmm. i want to repeat it usually i'm not good at repeating things yeah i am not good at repeating things but this i repeat for you we have the feeling that to get to truth you must work through something some method some process to untangle some knots climb some mountain sit in some cave something and then truth is the prize at the end of your striving but awareness which is synonymous with truth is that already within which the very striving and the attempt and the practice arises and is perceived This is an atomic discovery. <laughs> And this is what's called the power of maya. You think you have to go somewhere to be way to find truth because you think truth is other than you, it's somewhere else, it's a location. You can put it whatever image you want to get it, maybe you may call it the Buddha land or heaven or mm-hmm. you know sort of like uh, the buddha mind or christ consciousness or whatever but in a subtle way mind phenomenalizes something like it does with enlightenment and awakening like you know you know it's a it's a space that at reach where i'll be able to turn water into wine and uh, whatever it is that you feel because of the stories we hear and so on and these stories i take them to be true also that these things happen in it but they are not a condition that needs to happen to get to somewhere and this somewhere is right here you are that but you have not been educated to even recognize that you could be perfect from the beginning you think you'll be perfect at the end mm-hmm. yeah and therefore a journey comes into play the birth of all religions come out of this so do we need the journey for a while it seems that is unavoidable Mm. that we uh, must taste the tax for having a life so do we to go to... through this and to be uh, and to taste all the interrelated opposite not all but many much mm? and then to come out it seems as though all of the sentient beings were poured into the forest of existence and we are to make our way through it and come out the other end into open terrain and every now and again a buddha comes out and walks on and a jesus come out and walks on occasionally one of us pops out looks and runs back in again <laughs> <laughs> some are building tree houses yes they are like this and so it's very much uh, a part of our um, our human mythology that we to... must go through this long journey and then eventually if you're good enough if you are strong enough if you are if you try hard enough if you focus enough you know if you are detached enough if you you know huh? if you're lucky enough right then then after means then after this then you may mm. get
it or may not <laughs> or may not <laughs> you see yeah. Yeah, and we purchase it yeah. i'm pointing you to something what you are before you became and what you timelessly are even in your play of becoming and what you timelessly are even after the endings of your becomings that you are the witness of this and you are not now and you know i am prepared that there will be fierce resistance this idea you know after all it's too simple mm-hmm. maybe it's just another modern trick or whatever because we are very lazy which we are we don't want to go through in the old days you would spend at least 12 years with a master hmm? Yeah, I spent eighteen. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, we don't want to spend twelve minutes so and, uh, <laughs> over the counter. So, um, yeah. Does one need to give up the journey then? To give up the journey. Yeah. If there is within you the routine of something which you enjoy, mm. and see that this consciousness, if you see that consciousness is what's playing mm. all of this, then the poison is removed from the serpent. Right. Is it? If you yes. see no that it's not the individual who is asked to do something, but even the sense of individuality is actually the consciousness in expression as in individuality, something beautiful happens to you. It's not personal. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, the play of existence. If you follow what I'm pointing, you'll be free today. What I'm pointing at. then you'll recognize your eternal freedom today 